We just released our YouTube analytics report. Uh, this you can connect to your YouTube account for free using the native YouTube connector. We have an alternative version that's almost ready that uses super metrics and you, you do get some additional data with that. Uh, but for this first one, we're just gonna look at what we can get just with the YouTube connection. So on the first slide, we just have a summary here with a few KPIs and we can see period over period. Uh, and we would be able to see year over year data if this account had it. Then you're able to select two metrics and set targets each month. So you can see how you're pacing uh, for those two metrics throughout the month. Uh, then the next set of reports is gonna be all related to trends. So we have three different slides with three metrics each uh, related to trends for your channel. So we have overall views, uh, watch time trended out by month, and then subscriber trends by month as well. Then we get into uh, average view percentage, average watch time, and then like to dislike ratios. Uh, and then finally, we have engagement trends. So just like shares and comments, and we can quickly see how those are trending by month. Uh, the next report is gonna be our top videos. So on the left, we have our top five videos uh, for this time period, which is last month or last 30 days. And then on the right, we have those same five videos and what the total watch time is for each. So you can start to look for trends there, look for differences. It looks like our video that has the fifth most views actually has the second most watch time. So that could be worth investigating. Uh, then you have a table here with just all your videos and just all the metrics for each one. Uh, the thumbnail report is really interesting. We can see what our top performing thumbnails are and we're able to pull in the image of the thumbnail. So you can quickly analyze uh, trends, which thumbnails are working better, where you can improve, uh, and ultimately you could have a snapshot of all of those and then make the changes uh, in a future month to your videos. Then we just have some audience data. So we could just see um, some audience charts uh, as well to close it out and kind of where views are coming from um, by location. We have one focused on the US and one worldview. Uh, these sections here, these are the ones that are available when we use Supermetrics. So we actually can pull in a monet monetization report, uh, some audience retention data. Uh, traffic sources is really va valuable, so you can discover how people are just finding your videos, whether that's through YouTube search or just promotion and recommendations on YouTube. Um, and then we have growth opportunities, which is going to be a list of reports that help you analyze the next steps you should take with your videos on like what actionable things you can change to improve your performance. 